welcome back to 3, 2, 1, go. So we're going to do a career mode this time. Um, so we're going to go with my team. I did just start this, but obviously stuff went on. Um, we're going to go with a newcomer. Customise it ourselves. I'm going to go 23 races. We shall customise settings. I don't actually think I changed anything, tell you the truth, though. That, 2D, don't. No, we've got for the 3D lining, actually, I think. Um, manual gearbox, yep, that's good. Difficulty, we'll go for the... Put it on to a 40. I believe. Uh, weekend structure. We shall have a practice format full. One short. We'll have a short. Oh, one shot. Well, no, we'll have a short. No, we won't. We'll have a short. One shot. Session length will have a very short. Uh, yeah, I believe that's good. Confirm settings. Use my team icons. Yes, we'll do all this now. And enable first time tutorial. No, we don't want that. Yeah, we'll do that now. So, driver is him. Constructive, uh, British name, obviously, is me. And then my... We'll go audio name of mine. Wherever it may be. There we go, Jones. Our number five. And now let's advanced. That's good, that's good, that's good. Promotes. Emojis. Actually, is there a... What other emojis is there? Now, we'll stick with that. Bit embarrassing the other moves, isn't they? <laughs> to be honest. Okay, boss, let's get this team up and running. All right, the let's go. Okay. Enter a team name. Team name. All right. Obviously, you know what that's going to be. Oh, no, it's not going to be that one, is it? Three, two, one, go. Oh, there we go. Some sponsors offer a larger sign and bonus. We are going to go with the same one we did before with the third one. Chassis, we shall go with the Ferrari. Second driver, we're going to have the British. And we are going to confirm that. Delivery. We're gonna keep this colour, but they're the other colours you've got. But we are keeping the black and yellow. That looks sick. Personal stickers. Now I'm gonna have that as my sticker. There are the others, but that's my sticker. We're going to advance that. We need to consider our brands, our badge, and team colours. Team branding, okay. So, um, I'm going to have it how I had it earlier. 
Um, Frank, no, I quite like that, to tell you the truth. Right, let's pick our... That's what I wanted. That one there. Right, and then we wanted... Well, I don't know. Yeah. I think that's how we'll have it, like that. We'll have it on that one also. And then Team Colours. We shall have the... We're going to go lime green. Now, you'll see why I pick lime green when I do my next RC video, hopefully. I'm not sure if it will yet. We'll stay with that. Great, that's everything. <coughs> you can go back and edit anything we've done so far, and we'll come back here at the start of each season. No, we're good. But the reason why I put light and green is we are going with oh, excuse me with a lime green for a new colour scheme. Welcome and great to have you with us as we move forward. You'll see to the headquarters of the newest outfit on the Formula One grid. We've been granted exclusive access with an interview not just with the team owner or the star driver. Because for the first time in modern F1 history, the team owner is behind the wheel themselves. Now is a great time to bring a new team into the sport, particularly off the back of such compelling competition last year. 2022 saw huge regulation changes, and it was Red Bull who came out on top in the development race. But that was last year. This year could be a very different story. Let me tell you, this facility is an absolute hive of activity and there is a palpable sense of excitement around the car they've built. Quietly, they truly believe they can challenge at the top and they've had the time now to craft a hugely competitive race car. But theory is one thing and taking on the brightest lights in motorsport is quite another. So how does the owner of F1's 11th team feel as they prepare to be thrust into the limelight of the F1 circus? New driver lineups, Qatar returns, Las Vegas debuts, the engineering race continues to push the sport and the drivers to new heights. What are they aiming for? Most excited about, most nervous for? Well, soon we will meet them to find out. But first, let's take a look at the brand new car. Look at that motor. That's a pretty sick motor. Well, hi. Thank you so much for having us. Great to be here. I'm going to start with the question that everyone is asking. It's been a long time since we've seen a team owner drive their own car, and a lot's changed since then. The sport has really evolved. So, how are you going to manage the responsibility of doing both roles? This isn't just about me, this is about my team, and I'm behind them 100% together. We're unstoppable. Uh, nothing easy is worth doing. I live for challenges like this. I won't lie, it's been a lot of work and there's even more to come, but I wouldn't have to take on the task if I didn't believe in myself and my team. I think we'll decide that one. They're clearly very excited to have signed with you. What do they bring to the team? It was tough to get any drivers to sign onto the new team, but I'm glad they took the gamble. It was about finding the right fit for the, our team. They understand that we're new and appreciate the opportunity we're providing. Their skill set really suits our team. We've seen what they can do on paper and I see a lot of potential in them. 
So tell me about the work on the car. It's clearly a blank canvas. You've done a lot. What have you prioritised? The chassis balance is incredible. We've focused heavily on maximising our traction out of corners. Sim data looks good, but we won't know until we get out on track. Making the car as responsive as possible was one of our main goals. This is going to give us the edge going into corners. I think we'll go for the chassis balancing. That's what we're focused on at the moment. Have a huge amount of Formula One experience. You are a total newcomer. Tell us where you see the opportunities to make those vital performance games. A fresh pair of eyes can find solutions other teams haven't seen, and we found some unique ways of reducing drag. Fuel loads are the key to reducing the weight of the car efficiency we've got out of the power units until we until we'll keep weight down um it's going to be tough we'll have a better picture after the first race <clears throat> this era has brought a lot of complexity into the power unit but We've found plenty of room to innovate our ARS system. I'd say hmm, keeping fuel down, but a uh, uh, fresh pair of eyes will go for that. Now, ultimately, your success will be determined by whether you can take positions from other drivers. Do you believe this car has the edge? We've developed an incredible light car. This helps both top speed and through the corners. We've produced a really steam streamlined car. We expect incredible speed on straights. F was F1 isn't just one race, it's a whole season. The, Glorious, rigorous stress testing means we can avoid grip penalties and failures. Overtaking is all about power, so we've been working hard to get the, every bit of performance out of the power unit. Yeah, top speeds and corners I'll go for. With so many disciplines and experts working so closely together here, at your HQ, who gets the coveted teacher's gold star? Who are you most proud of as the first race edges ever closer? Our powertrain department really had to, to hit the ground running when we took delivery on of our engines. They've done a great job. The attention to detail that the chassis department has had an issue, has had is an inspiration to the whole team. Our durability department has been really proactive in testing. They cope, they catch problems before they become problems. Aerodynamics are perhaps the biggest part of Formula One. What our team has achieved in such short time is a miracle. We got for aerodynamics. I could talk to you all day. Thank you so much for your time, but I better let you get back to work. There's plenty more still to do. All the very best for your inaugural F1 season. Okay. Ciao for now. <coughs> Balancing Act. Your team balance will inform you of the team's financial situation. Your sponsors will give you cash each week and extra bonuses when you complete their objectives. Resource management. Resource points are used to help the team upgrade the car. Resource points are earned during three practice sessions where you can perform practice programs. Taking part in these will earn you resource points. Resource points can be spent on your car. 
and these upgrades can be selected at any time in R&D. A claim, as your team competes at race weekends, you will earn team acclaim. As your team's acclaim increases, so does your income from sponsors. Many of the top drivers won't consider moving to a low acclaimed team, so get out there and prove yourself out on the track before approaching them. Let's go. So as you've seen in previous gameplay, I literally just done the story mode of it. This time we need to do all messages, all activities. It's going to be a long run on this old one. So we shall go for... The time between races to the okay. And that's where these activities come in. Manage everyone's time as efficiently as possible to maximise the team's performance. Right, so I'm not going to read through all these, obviously. Right, I'll just go through the no activities. Messages, Ben, that's new, that new car smell. Okay. For patience, John, blah, blah, blah. Yep, yeah, okay. There we go, race weekend begin. Let's see how this car goes. And obviously throughout the get throughout the career mode we will be Welcome altering everything should be set everything. up and ready to go. I'm Ben. Anything R and D, I'm the person to talk to. Oh, and it's tradition for the team to go out for a bite to eat at the end of the race weekend if you're interested. Do well, and it's all on me. Okay. So practice is thirty minutes. So let's have a look. We are on 17 minutes. So first practice will be practice one. We're going to do the full length. So let's get into it. And hopefully we can sort judgment out on the car. This, my chair is cracking like mad. Too much movement on it but we'll get there we'll do something with it never mind so let's go morning mate mark here morning good feel once again thanks so much <coughs> for making me part of this team there's a huge number of talented people as i look around this garage and i cannot wait to see what we can all accomplish together including you our journey to the constructors championship starts right here okay Garage tutorial, free practice session, free practice sessions are virtual. Part of each Grand Prix weekend, not only do they give you an opportunity to le learn the track, they also offer a range of practice programs which can be completed to advance the development of your car. Thank you very much. Okay, yes, get on with it. Never mind the car setup. Oh, I'll need this. You may adjust your car set up over the course of these sessions. Try to to try and find those extra f fractions of a second. Note that the support in the regulations dictates that after each free practice session, you must hand back two sets of your dry tire allocation for the weekend. So get the most out of them while you can. Okay. So, session. Let's have a go with... Well, in fact, we'll start with what we've got now. Okay. Um, we'll go on the... Yeah, we'll... Straight out to the track. Let's go. See how the car handles, etc. So, ready for the countdown? Three, two, one, go.
I'm not always on good on the controls. So after a 70 break. Well, bit much out. Uh, I was walking out of the bloody RPS, whatever you call it. Been out there. What is going on here? Right, so we're picking 8 speed, 8 gear, 200 mile an hour. See, on the truck like this, it's ample. But obviously there is bigger trucks than this, where you will need full speed. And that is looking... Finally, you can get 250 out in the Formula 1. Obviously, we need to pick that speed up. And that is going through all the dynamics of the car, which, yes, I know nothing of the Formula 1 car, but this is where my channel comes into play of my knowledge of it. Basically, you learn as I learn. Changing gear too fast there through the gears. So if I can set, surely, an RC car ain't far off from a game car. Well, a real car, or whatever. I'm not no mechanic. I'm rubbish at mechanics. But if we can learn on this, then surely we can learn on an RC car. If we can learn on an RC car, you can 
to your own car in real life. And this is what I'm trying to get out of. Dana, basically. Obviously, I'm not doing my own car. I won't end up road legally, I'd end up in a party after with a jet engine. <laughs> Obviously, you don't put a jet engine under a party after. Or, um, on the Civic Type R or something like that. Or we're down in neutral there, which we totally messed up there, then. Right? So we are losing um, focus, losing a lot of time on this now. So I think maybe next lap we can go into the pits to maybe look at the car's dynamics or something, see if we can play about with the toe angle of the car, it might give us a Well, no, too much air. Uh, obviously, I'm sick, which I could do with a lot of work to it, I think, maybe. I just need to speed my driving up on them etc. We don't know. So into Pixie Go. No, you can't stop it. Yes, you can stop in the pits. Now, we are... No, we can't. Yep, we're going back in the garage. There we go. Right, so, let's have a look. What can we do? So... Roughly getting two oh one out of the car. Car setup. So customized car setup. We need load car. So that is a car setup from earlier I then. We're gonna delete that for now because we could do with a better one I think maybe but we'll do it ourselves all right customize there we go front dynamic we want we're gonna do it bit by bit um adjust the front and rear wings in order to achieve a desired level of aerodynamic performance and balance higher wing angles Produce more downforce, which improves grip. 
but increased drag which dramatically reduces straight line speed. I think then we shall stick on a 35 and go for a 30 on the rear. We'll st save that for now. No, hold on. Save even. Uh, set. Up. Do it. One. We'll call it. There we go. All right. So, load car set up. We'll load that up now, and we'll get back out on the track. And let's go test it. Oh, I missed countdown there. My bad. Right, so we're doing seven, eight gear now. Let's get out along that straight and we shall see the difference. Eight gear, we should hit 205 on open. No, right, okay. Oh! That's nuts. We overtook that by miles there, people. It does seem slightly better. Not, not, not by much. It does have that pick up to it. Also, a slight better turning. You can feel the notice to it, not by much. Bit of a wide turn in there. hitting 200 at the moment which mm, okay maybe we altered it a bit too much maybe because mm. on that straight we was actually hitting the 200 marker We've got someone behind us, one in the last box, is there? Oh no, we've done it. How quick can we pull away from him? Nah, not too bad. We need that pulling away quickness. We need a good acceleration on this. So I'm thinking maybe back into the pits and we'll have another look. There we go. It's 
So best time is 1.40. We need to lower that time in. We, as long as we can look at lowering the best time, lap time, then we're on a mission. So, um, first setup again. We shall go for the car setup. Where is it? No. There it is. Right, so car setup, absolute time customize R3. So we're on a 35, so lower that to 33, and we'll put, or shall we keep it balanced maybe? Show you not. I think maybe. 28.33 We'll go for that No, don't want to load that We want to save it Overwrite Save, ok And load Yes Right, so we're now running at 33.28. Let's go. 1.40 is our track time. Let's see if we can beat the 1.40. So here we go now in a 3.2.1. Uh, go. Oh yes, now we've touched the net. Now we've touched that marker. So our best time was a 140. Can we do better? Bit wide there. One forty again. Whoa. Oh, no, wait, that was a rubbish time in there. But well, we've basically marked our first best time. One forty yet again. Bit too much there then.
Here's Hamilton right behind us. One for one, but that was because of the second and the first corner, we went a bit far out. And the second corner, not second, the other corner, the like to call it. So we've still got 140 to beat, and Hamilton's taken us. Well, well, well. This corner, but oh no, straight into neutral, which was bad going. Can we do that one for eight? No. Oh, not a much time difference there. We could get it done, I think. So that's our first practice complete, people. Off track there is that. One for one. Always on that one forty mark at least. We know where we are though. The session is drawn to a close, so let's review our top three. Leclerc, Hamilton. That's practice one done. So, guys, going to end it there. That's our first practice of the day done. The race, obviously, is going to be in a couple of goes because we need to practice two now and alter the car yet again. 
So until the next one, we shall see you on the next one, obviously. Um, give us a like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me if you've got a good gearing for a certain track or if it's an all-rounder. Tell us your thoughts on what's what, basically. Until next time, guys. Cheers, peeps.